Good afternoon, good evening, good morning, Pez fans. Thanks for joining us once again for another fantastic interview. Today I'm talking with young racer Skylar Schneider, who may only be 20 years old, but she's got a lot of experience. Two years at the world tour level, four years at the pro level, a whole lot of other years racing her bike. In fact, she's been racing her bike for almost half of her life. And she's looking forward to Tour of America's Dairyland, which is coming up in June this year. So we're going to have a great little conversation about that. Skylar, welcome to the program. Welcome to Pez. Thanks for taking time to talk to us. Thank you. Thank you for having me. So we're here to talk a little bit about a bunch of things. For sure, Tour of America's Dairyland. Um, but for Pez readers who may not be that familiar with you, I'm wondering if you can tell us a little bit about yourself, how you started, how you got into racing. Uh, and kind of bring us up to kind of where we are right now in terms of your racing career. Sure. So I'm from West Dallas, Wisconsin, and both of my parents used to race. Um, they focused on the track a bit more than the road. Um, and now I grew up watching my older sister race, and she actually grew up watching my mom race. So cycling is very much... Um, a family sport and um, I did my first BMX race when I was four and then I did yeah BMX wow. around the US for a few years <clears throat> while I was in elementary school but really loved doing that with my siblings and then my dad introduced me to some track and cyclocross um, which were both very fun but when I was 12 I did my first uh, national championships on the road and I actually won that and from there I was hooked with road cycling so wow. okay, so you've been basically riding at a national level for about eight years which is almost half of your life yeah wow okay so yeah, that's... yeah. <laughs> so you kind of know your way around a bike race then <laughs> yeah yeah despite being the youngest in the peloton um, yeah I have a lot of years of experience and are you a full-time professional racer? Um, I'm also a student. I'm taking courses with UW Colleges Online. So I do that and then I'm a professional cyclist. Okay. And of, of your week, how many hours of your week is devoted to your racing career right now? Uh, it feels like 24-7 because when I'm not riding, then I have to think about recovery or nutrition. So it's, yeah, it's a consuming job so i don't really think there's any time off <laughs> yeah no kidding and what what is your racing schedule like uh for this year what so i spent two months in europe this spring i started in valencia with the women's tour of valencia and then i did a lot of the one day classics in holland and belgium um, i just got back from tour of america's i mean sorry tour of california last week and then next, I'll kind of transition into some criteriums with Tulsa Tough and Tour of America's Dairyland. So that's a pretty big, a pretty big season. How did you like racing in Europe? Was it your first time racing over there? No, this. So I've been racing in Europe about three and a half years, and this is my second year with Bulls Dolmans. So. I, even though it sounds like a long time, it's just been a few months at a time. So it's been really a big learning curve each time over there. And I feel like there's still a lot to learn. Tell us a little bit about the team. <laughs> yeah, I really, really love racing with Bull Um The first year, uh, it was a big commitment to leave home for three months. Um, it was the longest I spent away from home. but for how much I really appreciate the opportunity and being with my teammates and the team staff. Um, it's really, really a positive environment. And so then I made the decision to sign for two more years because yeah, I'm really happy with the team and I love it. And you've got some heavy hitters on that team. There's a lot of experienced world champions on there. Did you feel at all, I don't know, intimidated joining the, the ranks of some of these women? Absolutely, especially because I'm so much younger and I don't come from a from Europe. So um, I knew I had a lot to learn, but I knew that the best possible environment to learn in is to be surrounded by these champions. And my very first team camp, I was roommates with Anna Vanderbregen. So I was pretty nervous at first, but she's such a good person that, uh, yeah, she kind of taught me the ropes from the beginnings. Oh, that's cool. All right, well, let's talk a little bit about, move this over to Tour of America's Dairyland now. So you have had a, a, a pretty lengthy relationship with that race. Can you tell us about what it was like when you 
when you sort of first got started racing at Tour of America's Dairyland? I remember two years, my goal was to win the best amateur jersey. And then kind of as I was progressing, then it was the goal switch to winning the actual races. So, um, yeah, it's been as my career develops, I think uh, Dairyland has been a big part of that. And um, being able to race it every year and see how I'm improving has been really cool. And that and it's basically it's your home race. The, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Which is cool. So that's got to be got to be a, a, have a whole different flavor compared to all the other races you've gone to. You know, you, yeah. are you are you known ar- around the circuit as, you know, one of the homies? Yeah. A lot of like the whole family, all my friends, everyone comes out to watch and to be able to race in front of them and hear them cheering. It's 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 really special it's really a different race from from so many other races in the u.s and around the world what what do you think makes this race so cool and what's what's different about it from from other races that you've been at yeah to have 11 days in a row alone is an impressive amount of races and um how well organized they are for being such a long series is always extremely impressive Um, it takes a lot of volunteers and a lot of hard work and Um, As racers, we really appreciate that. Um, It's really neat to see the charm in each different city and uh, to see what each city has to offer uh, makes every race day unique. And it really doesn't get boring as the days go. It gets more exciting because, uh, yeah, the crowds get bigger on the weekends and every day there's something different. And so will you be racing all 11 stages this year? So unfortunately, the end of the series overlaps with nationals. Mm -hmm. So I'm hoping to do the first four to five days because I want to support the series as much as possible. What is your training program now heading towards nationals and how does Tour of America's Dairyland fit into that? Yeah, I have about two weeks home, which in the middle of the season is kind of rare because normally there's it's just back to back racing. So I'm making the most of this time and doing some long hours. The weather in Wisconsin is finally, finally resembling a spring. So I'm enjoying that. And uh, yeah, I'll use Dairyland to get some more speed work in. A standout moment from Tour of America's Dairyland. You know, you've done this race about six times now or something like that. Yeah, kind of a cool story. So it was Saturday morning and I woke up in, I think we were in Reno, Nevada. We had just traveled there from California um, Nationals. Sorry to hear that. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, with my sister. We caught the red eye to Milwaukee. Okay, this is Saturday. We landed about two hours before Downers Ave. So we had someone at the airport with food and our bikes ready for us. And they drove us straight to Downers and we're watching the clock and thinking, oh, we might miss the race. Um, And our teammates, we were surprising them that we were coming in at the last minute. So we got there, they opened the team van, we're hugging and then we quick changed. And then my sister won the race (laughs) and I won the next day. So. It was a whirlwind of a weekend, but it was really special to make it home and to race Dairyland and have the family there. It doesn't get any better than that. No. No (laughs) way. Wow. Um, Is is there a stage of of the race that stands out for you? You know, a lot of people have have talked about Downers Avenue, but it's not the only stage. There's a lot of other great stages. Do you have a, a, a favorite? Yeah, I really enjoy the Tosa race. Um, I spend a lot of time there um, off the bike. I go to yoga in Tosa. My favorite cafe is there. And um, it's a cool race, um, kind of in a neighborhood. So you get a lot of families and young kids out watching. Um, Yeah, so that's one of my most favorites. All right. So anybody who's watching this, don't miss the the Tosa race. No. (laughs) Skylar's favorite. All right. what would you say to someone who is coming to the race and maybe they haven't been there, they haven't been before, or they want to come and try it for the first time? Uh, you know, what do you tell racers about why they should come and what's cool about Tour of America's Dairyland? Yeah, I definitely encourage everyone to come. Um, you have 11 days, so that's 11 opportunities to keep improving each day, um, whatever your goals are to finish the race or to podium or whatever that may be. You can always skip a day and come back the next day. And yeah, you're gonna see Wisconsin, um, all the different cities uh, at their best with the good weather and coffee shops and restaurants open. And 
but the racing itself is a whole another level. So when you combine the two, it's really, really cool. All right. Well, Skylar, thank you so much for speaking with us and telling us about your, your season so far. It sounds like Tour of America's Dairyland is going to be an awesome race. Hope you do well. Good luck. And, uh, and, and I hope my Pez, the Pez fans come out and cheer you on. Yeah, thank you. See you at Dairyland. Ah, awesome. All right. Take care. Bye. <laughs> Bye.